guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm filming a video that is a necessity. My empties bin is getting a little bit out of hand, so I thought it was time to sit down and film this for you guys. And the first empty I actually threw it away because it was so disgusting was a Jeffree Star lip scrub. I have the spearmint flavor and I actually picked it up when he first launched them and I love it because you get a ton of product. It's like 12 bucks and it works really well, but Clearly, I don't exfoliate my lips all the time, like every time I'm in the shower or anything. I don't do crazy lip swatch videos, so I don't really feel the need to exfoliate my lips all the time, although maybe I should feel the need. I don't know. Let me know your opinions on lip scrubs down below. I'm curious to hear what you guys think, but I had barely made an, a dent in that product, and it was getting a little gunky, and it was sitting in my shower, and I was like, okay, it's time to declutter this, so I did throw it away. I didn't want to put it in my basket because it was like gooey and wet, so... That was the first item. And then, of course, as always, I have like 100 Neutrogena makeup wipe removers because I love those so much. They just work so well for me and they're so affordable and my Costco sells um, a big size of it, so I just buy it all. Um, I am gonna throw this away because I bought this as a dupe to the Rose Toner from Fresh and I don't like this. This one has a gooey consistency. I tried to declutter this and get rid of it and nobody would take it from me so I'm gonna go ahead and just toss this. This is the Body Shop British Rose Petal Soft Gel Toner. Gel toners, not my favorite thing. So I'm so sorry, please don't come after me. I tried to get rid of it but it is what it is and it's going in the trash, guys. Okay, so I did use up this Make It Last setting spray by Milani. I actually really like this. I would repurchase this. It is kind of small. If this is the only setting spray you have, you might go through it kind of fast, but it is drugstore, so it's pretty affordable and I do like that. Now, this product everyone loves except me. This is the facial spray by Mario Badescu. It's the aloe, cucumber, and green tea. Was not a fan of this. I actually put this in my bathroom and used it when I got out of the shower just to hydrate my face. I didn't enjoy this as a setting spray. And I don't necessarily think it's a setting spray, but I didn't like it. I would not repurchase. This is a confidence in a compact, skin transforming, full coverage, solid, super, super serum and my friend Letitia sent this to me but the color is a little too dark for me and I just don't see myself using this guy oops so I'm gonna go ahead and declutter that but it was so nice of her to send it to me so I do really really appreciate that she does have a channel I will go ahead and link it down below for you guys to check out um, Face mask. I have so many of these I need to use up. I need to do more face masks so I don't end up wasting them. Um, this is the Body Shop Seaweed Oil Balancing Toner. I used to love Body Shop toners, but I don't really think I was seeing any results with these. And I decided to stop using them. And then I switched to this guy, um, which is the... Uh, Son and Park Beauty Water, which um, Stephanie Nicole had recommended, and I liked that one too, and I feel like that one is not the greatest either, so I'm kind of on like the lost side of toners. Yeah, I don't really, I haven't found a good one recently, so I'm kind of bummed about that, but I will continue the hunt. Um, this is a Sephora Volume On Mascara. This is like $10. It's okay. I just thought it was fun. It's a pink mascara and these were before the ColourPop ones came out. So I decided to try it because I picked it up during- wow, there's a lot of product in there. Um, it's definitely dried out Ooh, and kind of gross. Wow. Um, so I won't be using this, but um, yeah, I would recommend the ColourPop ones over these. I wouldn't recommend purchasing those unless there's like a particular color you want. I'm also going to be decluttering a lot of dry shampoos. I always wanted to find a perfect dry shampoo, but I've had no such luck. This is the Amika Perk Up Dry Shampoo. I don't see any results with dry shampoos, I swear. It's like they never do anything for me. They leave my hair oilier than even before, so I've just decided dry shampoos are not for me, and I'm going to stop using them. So that's that. Here's another dry shampoo um, that I got in like a Sephora sampler pack. This is the Living Proof Perfect Hair Dry Shampoo. Everyone loves this. Again, I don't think it does anything for me, so I will be tossing that. And then I did use up a whole perfume. This is the Elizabeth and James Nirvana perfume in the scent, or the bourbon 
scent. I really like this. This is my favorite one. I don't like the white. I don't like the black. I did buy French Grey and I don't really love that one either. Kind of wish I hadn't. I can't remember if bourbon is discontinued now or not. And then they had a rose and a purple one. Can't remember what the purple one is. Maybe lavender. Um, but this guy I really liked and I'm so happy I used it up because it means... I'm using my product. This is a box. Oh, this is a Melt All Day Everyday Eyeliner in the shade uh, 420. And I honestly thought this was super dry and gross. They sell these on Sephora and I like low-key want to try it again because I feel like I just got a bad product. Um, of course it's working now when I try to swatch it, but it's kind of dry and like I feel like that in my water. See, like... I'm like really pressing hard here, so I don't know. I'm going to go ahead and throw this away. I got it for $5, and I just didn't think it was very good, and I don't want to put it on my eyes, so I'm really sorry um, if you're offended, but I just didn't like it. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Here's another dry shampoo that didn't work for me. This is the Dove Fresh Coconut Dry Shampoo. Instantly removes oil, refreshes hair with a scent of coconut and sweet lime. I didn't think it did any of that for me. So I am getting rid of it. Colourpop Mascara. I liked it, but I didn't love it. So I will not repurchase this. I would rather buy Drugstore Mascara, in my opinion. Love this guy. This is a Sephora waterproof eye makeup remover. I've already had a backup of this forever. Um, I just don't use it as much because I use the Neutrogena Makeup Wipes. So yeah, I try to remember to use it whenever I can. But I used to use it all the time, and it's very good. I just use a wipe instead because I can just use it on my whole face, you know? This is the Shiseido Facial Cottons. I buy these every once in a while um, when I remember during the Sephora Ultra Sales. Otherwise, I just use whatever I find at Target. This is like a um, e.l.f. tool that I found for the face and I thought it was a cool idea, but once I got it and I tried it, I thought it was really stupid, so I'm throwing that away. Um, here's a product from the drugstore that I wanted to try, but I didn't love this. This is the Pacifica Coconut Dissolve Cleansing Oil. Uh, party then magically clean it up now coconut and flower oils I know a lot of people love the Pacifica brand and I'm sure they have a lot of good stuff I just didn't like this so I'm not keeping it then we have more makeup wipes oh here's some more more makeup wipes <laughs> And then I finished up this Ultra Repair Cream um, from First Aid Beauty. Okay, I didn't really finish it up. There's a little bit left, but this used to be my go-to moisturizer, and then I just kind of got bored with it. So, yeah, used it up as much as I can, and now we are getting rid of it. These are the Strident Sensitive with Aloe Salicylic Acid Single Step Acne Control Patches. We actually got these from Amazon for our cat because our cat has cat acne. And I actually tried them out and I think they actually do work pretty well, even on humans. Uh, but yeah, if your cat has cat acne, I think our vet recommended this or maybe Rill decided that it was a good idea. It did work on our cat. Our cat hated it though. It must have stung, but it really cleared up his acne. So... If you guys are looking for some really affordable sal salicylic acid wipes, I would recommend those because I thought it was good. This mascara I hated. This is the L'Oreal Ultimate Mascara Waterproof. And yeah, this was weird. This is like that Bendy brush. I don't know. It was weird for me. Maybe other people... Oh, here we go. This is how you like use it. And like, ugh. It was not good. Not a fan. Sorry, guys. If you like this... Okay, next thing in here is a shower gel. Why am I keeping these to show you guys? Is this like helpful? I do like this though. This is the Olay Moisture Ribbon Plus um, with shea and la lavender oil. This is really good. I do like to buy body wash. I do like to buy body wash at the drugstore. I always find good ones, so I don't mind at all. Okay, um, cotton wipes that I bought at Target that are good. Here's another toner. I'm decluttering. This is the vitamin E hydrate toner. I did not feel like this hydrated my face at all from the body shop, so I'm tossing that. I love this guy. My skin feels it when I stop using it. This is the Murad Clarifying Cleanser. Um, it's their acne line, and you can usually get these on sale for $15. Otherwise, they retail for $30. Um, I really love this, and I have one in my shower right now. This guy is so good, you guys. This is the Super Cleanse Daily Treatment um, by Glam Glow. And oh my gosh, you can almost substitute this for the mask if you don't want to spend 
the hefty price tag on the mask you can just use this as a spot treatment I would use this and it would honestly help my skin so much um, maybe I'll repurchase this during a sale um, it's lasted me a long time there's still some product in here I feel like but I feel like I've had this product for so so long that it's time to let it go okay this product I got when I went to see makeup by Mario um, his master class this is the magic pads I'd never really heard of this brand um, and it was okay I didn't really love these it's a gentle daily exfoliating pad for the treatment of blemishes and unnecessary uh, signs of aging so yeah I still have a few pads left in here actually a lot of pads but I feel like it's so old I went and saw him like the year I got married and I've been married for like three years so I'm done with that this is the Dermablend loose setting powder and I don't really like this um it wasn't very good <laughs> I don't know what else to say um, cool beige everyone was talking about the Dermablend powders for a long long time and yeah I got it I feel like it really dries out my skin so not a huge fan I need to toss this this is one of my favorite foundations this is the Estee Lauder double wear maximum cover camouflage makeup for face and body with SPF 15 if you're looking for full coverage this is amazing and I would totally recommend it I feel like it's definitely gone bad I've had it for so long so I'm gonna toss it I will repurchase it someday um, I just have so many foundations I'm trying to get through right now so I'm gonna wait um, I'm getting rid of this Herbal War Phoenix regenerating facial oil I feel like Herbal War was so hyped up in my head um, but I don't love the oil, so I'm just gonna stop using it or like get rid of it. Not really my thing. This I was supposed to mail to a subscriber, and I'm so sorry. I totally forgot. Um, so if you still want this, I might still be able to mail this to you. But this is the ColourPop Ultra Glossy Lip in the shade Dreamaholic. And I bought this because it looks so beautiful, but honestly, this color looks so disgusting on my skin tone. Oh my god, it's like a well, like I cannot wear that on my lips. It'll look like I have some kind of disease or have been cold for too long. So I need to get rid of that. Uh, let me know if you want it. I can mail it to you. <laughs> uh, love this mascara. This is the Caution Extreme Lash Mascara by Hourglass. I would love to repurchase, but it's pricey. So I'm going to try to just stick to the drugstore. This is my favorite Anastasia brow gel. I just stopped using this and I did put a sticker on this with the date I started using it, which was March 29th, 2018. So it's lasted me over a year and I love it so much. This is the Essence Make Me Brow brow gel i don't like this as much as i like anastasia i would pick anastasia over and over and over um over any other brow gel the clear brow gel is just so good these are some ardell for faux mink lashes that are so super nice i like these a lot this is the aoa studio lash package um you can find those on shop missa i have bought some things from shop missa i love the lashes totally worth the the price tag honestly I'm sorry I keep going off screen it's like a bad habit because I like I bend <laughs> okay so this is the Sephora instant nail polish remover I don't know if they still make this but I was obsessed with this stuff um, and then I've been getting my nails done this summer so I haven't needed it but I do really like this product it's so good at taking nail polish off your nails here is something I was so sad that I spent the money on this is Sephora Sunday Riley oil and this is the hydroactive cellular face oil it got so gelatinous and I don't know why like I didn't do anything with this that I didn't do with the others but it just got gunky and gooey I don't know if you can see that this is like an almost hundred dollar face oil and I didn't even use I mean I maybe got half of it before it got like this so I'm just gonna go ahead and throw this away I'm definitely not gonna take any chances and put that on my face I love these Got a few of them in here. These are the Wet n Wild Mega Link mascaras. These are so great for the waterline. So I really, really like these and they're so affordable. Here's another thing I'm getting rid of. If anybody wants this, let me know. This is the Red Isle Instagram Insta Glam Compact Deluxe Banana Powder. Yellow Tone Highlighting Powder. I didn't really love this, but I know it's an expensive brand. Um, so I'd be happy to give it to one of you guys, but I just didn't really like it. Here's some more masks. This is from Walmart. I didn't love this one. I love the Sephora masks. Even the face masks are really good. And then I love the foot mask because um, it gives my feet much needed hydration. Oh my gosh, there's liquid coming out of that. Ooh. 
Gross. Okay, here is the Sunday Riley Autocorrect Brightening and Depuffing Eye Contour Cream by Sunday Riley. Did I say that already? I did not like this. I was so excited for Sunday Riley to come out with an eye cream. I, I'm always looking for recommendations for good eye creams. And yeah, I just... Eh. It was okay and it was expensive so I won't be rebuying that and then here are some sponges I tried and didn't love so I'm just gonna throw them away this is the real techniques diamond oh it was so bad um, this is just old this one is from L'Oreal but I hope they stop making it because there's really no use for this and then this eco tool sponge like I don't know I don't really love it I do like the big one but I don't like these ones so these are all going in the trash next is my favorite top coat even though I'm getting my nails done right now this is still my favorite I've repurchased it many times um, this is like one of the most hype products on the internet that I didn't love so I'm glad I got it in a sample this is the pixie glow tonic exfoliating toner with 5% glycolic acid aloe vera and ginseng like so many people love this toner but I swear it doesn't I don't see anything happening with this. Um, maybe someday I'll invest in the full size, but I'm not convinced that this is important to my skincare routine, so no buys. Um, so many more mascaras. Let's talk about all of them. Um, Monsieur Big, one of my favorites. A L'Oreal Voluminous is pretty good. That's a burgundy color. I just thought I'd get it for fun. I do like the Roller Lash, but after trying it recently, I don't like the brush anymore. So. I guess technically I don't like the, the lash and then this Dior show was a sample not a huge fan don't remember anything spectacular about it and I didn't really like this Maybelline falsies um, in navy apparently I was thinking I could do navy so yeah it's nice that the drugstore has colorful mascara options but yeah this is like my favorite like i want to repurchase this forever and ever and ever i love the monster big mascara by lancome okay i'm throwing this away um this is the herbivore jade roller and i think i talked about this before but they had had so many complaints from customers about this jade roller that they revamped it and i saw it on their instagram and i just gotten this one so i wrote to them and they were so kind they sent me a free replacement which i thought was really really nice especially because i had just gotten this one and this made such a racket like it squeaks like do you hear that and rail was like really and I was like yeah I spent like 50 bucks on this thing so glad they sent me a replacement and I don't want to torture anyone with this so that one is going in the garbage um, this is the wet n wild press compact powder um, it's good but I was you know doing a powder declutter and I don't ever use it so I'm not gonna keep it if somebody wants it again you can message me but I swear the postage to send this to you is gonna be more than the powders worth so yeah I'm probably just gonna toss that guys I'm sorry I feel so bad for like throwing stuff away but it's like I'm not keeping good product it's like stuff I've either used or it's like really crappy and I don't like it so you know I've, I've spent money on this stuff I'm not happy to throw it away but if it doesn't work I'm not gonna keep it I didn't like this buxom eyeliner probably why it ended up in my empties bin so I'm gonna go ahead and trash that I used up this um, Malin Goetez Mojito lip balm I actually really like this this was a sample that I think I got from Sephora but I don't know where to get it from and I won't rebuy it but it was good I used up this uh, virgin marula luxury face oil from drunk elephant so many people hype up this oil I didn't really love it that much like it was okay but for the price point, I'm not going to repurchase this or purchase it in the full size, that's for sure. Okay, more mascaras I tried. I tried the CoverGirl Exhibitionist because somebody told me that Mel Thompson said that this was like the Pat McGrath one and I didn't want to buy the Pat McGrath one. I thought it was okay. It definitely got clumpy really quick and I didn't love that about it. And then this is the Volume, Mega Volume Wet n Wild Mascara, which is okay. Again, I don't really love it. I bought it because I was placing a Wet n Wild order. This is the Tatcha Pure One Step Cleansing oil the camilla cleansing oil i again got this in my makeup by mario gift bag so it's pretty old and i don't love this cleansing oil so i am not going to keep it i'm going to get rid of it this again i didn't like this is the youth of the people um what is this uh Ada Portigan deep moisturizing cream i don't know but look that's nasty it changed color i'm pretty sure it changed color it was like a less i think this was green so kind of gross kind of don't want to rebuy that won't rebuy that this is a mintbomb.com from glossier i like these 
but not enough to buy them on Glossier's website. I have a few more that I'm trying to use up after that. I'm just going to stick to other lip balms that I like. I use up the Coconut Smoothie Priming Moisturizer by First Aid Beauty. I love the fact that this is coconut, but I can live without this clearly. So I used it up and it's going in the trash. Two brushes I want to get rid of. This is a Sonia Kashuk brush from Target. And I have so many eyeshadow brushes that I'm like, okay, Karen, it's time to like really narrow things down. And this brush feels so scratchy. Um, when I used it one day, I was like, okay, like you have so many brushes, like just get rid of it. So I'm going to toss that. And this Morphe brush looks like a hurricane hit it. It is a 516. And it's pretty misshapen and I haven't really used it much. It was like an angled brush. I mean, I guess you could use this for like a nose contour, like maybe like right there, but I didn't really know what it's used for and I'm okay with getting rid of this. So bye bye brushes. Okay guys, two full bags of makeup empties and things I'm just decluttering that I don't need in my space anymore. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I will catch you guys in my next one. Let me know what empties you spotted that are products you love. Let me know if you've tried these products and you hate them like I did. Always curious to hear your thoughts. Thank you guys so much for watching. Also really quick, I just want to show you guys this because you don't really see my beauty room a lot. How cute is this trash can I just picked up from TJ Maxx, no Marshalls. It's a Ray Dunn trash can. So cute you guys. I didn't need to be making this purchase but how could I say no to this in my beauty room? Like so cute and it's ceramic which is kind of intense for a trash can. Like did I need a ceramic trash can? No. Was this one totally adorable? Yes, so I bought it. Anyway, I thought that was a little bit relevant for an empties video. Thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you in my next one soon.